Now let's take a look at the game notation pane. You can see here I've removed the Games Explorer and the Analysis Explorer. We're just here with the board. We've got the Opening Explorer and the Game Notation. Now I picked a game at random. It's uh, Vesel and Tapalov versus Alexis Shirov uh, from 1996. And uh, I'm just going to show you how to add things like notations, annotations, uh, diagrams and symbols to the games, to the notation. So let's just take a position at random. I, uh, I haven't particularly looked at any of these positions, but I'm just going to show you as an example. So if you pick at any position, one that you're interested in, say for instance, and just right click, you get this little drop down menu where you can add a variety of different things. So adding a comment, first of all, if you left click on that, you get to add a comment in here. So we've got things like, uh, you can put anything if you like. Um, okay, I'm just going to make something up here. If I could spell, that would help. Uh, and a very nice little feature here is, especially if you're planning on printing it out, if you wanted to add a diagram as well as your uh, annotations, you could just click this button here. So I'm going to add it before the comment, add diagram. So now we're going to have diagram and then interesting position. And when I click OK, you'll see the annotations here, the interesting position and the word diagram. Now it won't print out with just the word. What will happen is when you print it out, uh, the Hyarx Chess Explorer will insert a diagram at that position just before your comment. Some of the other things that you can do, obviously, if we just click on a different position, right click, add a move symbol. Uh, these are evaluation symbols, pretty uh, common usage in chess. So you have the exclamation mark for good move, question mark for bad move, etc. The evaluation symbol, the informant style symbol, so you've got uh, equal position, things like that, uh, better for either side or winning for either side, things like that. So you can add any of these or even other symbols. You can see there's a whole host of different options there. So we'll just add one of those, say for instance that, to show that it's a good move. Whether it is or not, I don't know, but I'm just showing you the process. And finally, if we did actually want to print this game off, we go to the file menu go to print and we can print two things the current game or a whole host of games from our game explorer window in this case we'd just be interested in printing the current game so hit print there obviously as long as you've got a printer connected to your computer in some method you'll be able to print that game out and it'll have the annotations that you've done including the diagram in that printed recording so there you go that's everything you need to annotate and print games using hiarx chess explorer